Is the boat? I have wheels, of course, right? The North Myrtle Beach Rescue Squad revealed its new amphibious search and rescue boat today. The first of its kind being used for ocean rescue in America. And we'll show you, I hope, <laughs> we will get to that in a moment. You can raise and lower the wheels similar to an airplane during takeoff and landings. That means the vessel can actually drive directly into and out of the surf, greatly improving emergency response time. And this is augmenting our system. We've got the 20 year old boat. We're going to keep it around as long as she'll still run. But this is really enhancing our program and allowing us a better opportunity to provide services for the citizens and the community of North Myrtle Beach. Our Facebook page and check out our live shot this morning from Amanda Kenson. It was amazing. The North Myrtle Beach Rescue Squad is a group of volunteers who help with water rescues. They purchased the Ocean Craft Marine Amphibious Boat through donations and fundraisers. You're invited to the boat christening, which will be Monday at 4 p.m. at the Intracoastal Waterway 2nd Avenue South Boat Ramp in North Myrtle Beach. How cool is that? Police have spent the past seven months trying to find the family, a family rather. Their loved one was Timmonsville's first black police officer, and he died in the line of duty many years ago. Well, tonight, the police chief here has a very special award for the fallen heroes family. Timmonsville Police Chief Thomas McBadden told us in December that he was desperate to find the family of an officer killed in the line of duty 68 years ago. 35-year-old Lucius Victor Generet worked for Timmonsville Police for just four months before he was killed in 1954. He was the town's only black officer at the time. Overwhelmed with joy, excitement, happy. Um, we excited that we actually, we actually found him. McFadden finally tracked down Generette's family in May. They're in Timmonsville today for a special ceremony during National Night Out to honor their fallen hero. Generette's granddaughter is elated. I never got to meet him, but he is my dad's hero. I, my dad gives stories. Um, my dad said he does remember the funeral. And they're grateful for Chief McFadden for recognizing their loved one's sacrifice. It wasn't a lot of publicity for this at that point in time. Um, and we checked it up to it was that era and all, but now it's a reality. I arrived at the scene. Sled was setting up crime scene markers and using a metal detector. North Myrtle Beach Police, Horry County Police, and Sled were all on scene at Briarcliff RV Resort. They were also nearby the Barefoot Resort area. North Myrtle Beach Police went to William Joshua Alston's house this morning around 2 a.m. Police say this was near the Barefoot Resort area. North Myrtle Beach Police officers were serving an outstanding warrant on Mr. Alston. Uh, during that time, uh, he opened fire on our police officers. Uh, fortunately, no officers were hit and they're okay. Officials say Alston was being served the warrant for domestic violence and kidnapping. They say police fired back at Alston when he shot at them, and then he took off. Officials say Alston was found at Briarwood RV Resort and was taken into custody this afternoon. We're told he was taken to the hospital for a gunsh gunshot wound to the foot. Police say no one else on scene was hurt. Alston's criminal history in South Carolina shows he was convicted in 2019 for obtaining a signature by false pretenses. He was arrested again in March of this year for check fraud and for being a fugitive. Live in North Myrtle Beach, Jenna Herrezo, ABC 15 News. Jenna, thank you. North Myrtle Beach spokesman Donald Graham says he cannot confirm where Alston was found in the RV park, but we're told SLED is investigating the officer-involved shooting part of this particular incident. Now, the neighborhood where all of this began in the early morning hours is slowly getting back to normal this afternoon. Just at the scene where this all played out, ABC 15's Andrew James joins us now live in North Myrtle Beach with more on that. Andrew. Jen, the RV resort behind me here may have been when that manhunt ended early this afternoon, but early this morning. The quiet golf community just across from the ICW was rattled with this officer involved shooting taking place there. Now, dozens of families were either told to stay put in their townhomes and condos or asked to leave if they could 
all before the dawn had broke. Now, police told people in the Ironwood and Tanglewood areas of the community to stay inside while they searched for Alston. This was around 8 or 9 in the morning right before that. Now, before that order came, we're talking like maybe 5 or 4 in the morning. Some neighbors told me they heard a knock on their door. It was either a SWAT team member or SLED agent offering them a chance to leave for their own safety. Just telling us they had an incident going on close by, close enough that we needed to evacuate. So they asked me how long it would take to get out of the house, and I said long enough to get some clothes on. So about three to five minutes later, my bride and I came out, but I guess they felt like it was safe enough to get in our truck, and we just went out the other exit.